So our journey starts here. We've got to get down to Land's End, and to do that, we've we've borrowed my works van. I've set it up with the some some broken up bits of pallets there to hold up the bikes and, and secured them in there nice and tight we're very lucky to have the van for the week i'm packing the rest of the boys stuff up here that they've got to me over the last couple of days and um it's looking good just packing the final bits up ready to set off and go and pick the lads up look at benji hey, he's gonna miss me for the rest of the week okay Let's get going. Bye bye Benji. Bye bye. Bye bye Benji. These are uh, the jumpers that we were wearing for the trip, uh, night times and, uh, and things like that. These are our sponsors that are sponsors to take this challenge on. Uh, so thanks very much to all these guys. Okay, let's go and pick the lads up and let's get on the way. Just pulling up at Dan Poppleton's. He's our driver for the week, our main driver. Hiya Dan, there's your jumper. Enjoy. <laughs> Stop number two, Mr. Grant Cunliffe. Powered by Spam. Boy Grant! <laughs> What's a road trip without a Mackey stop? It's just a no-brainer. It also falls in line with our third passenger, Mr. Joe Johnson. Oh, here he is coming out the doors now. Hello. Our bellies were full and sat nav set, there was only one thing for it. The non-drivers to start getting on it. I can't take them anywhere, honestly. Man, I am tonight. Grant sang that. Yeah, you did. What's that coming over the Is it a monster? Is it a monster? After four or five beers and Joe needing an emergency stop, I couldn't help myself but drive a little bit further on and let him catch us up. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Listen, quick one, just wanted to let you know why we actually did this challenge. You know, what, 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 what did we cross the UK for on our bikes in seven days? Well, it were all for the Christie. The Christie are a cancer specialist um, in Manchester, maybe across other places as well, but mainly in Manchester that we know of. Uh, and they help anyone and everyone that are going through problems with cancer. Many of us on this trip have been uh, affected by our family members or people we know who have, who, you know, who've struggled with cancer and, and, and come through it, you know, fortunately. Um, so, some obviously haven't been so lucky, but they're there and they're helping. Um, between us, during, during doing this trip, you know, throughout it, before it, etc., we managed to raise a whopping £5,505. So thank you to everybody that donated and give what they could. Uh, it really means a lot. Listen, sit tight, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks very much. So we're just approaching the Land's End Hotel, beautiful evening, and uh, we're ready to bump into the rest of our party. My dad, my brother, and Howard. Danny, how are you? I'm good, yeah. Well, then good trip over. Yeah, good. So we've nestled in for our last meal before setting off in the morning. It's lovely to bump into my brother again. He lives in Valencia, so I don't see him much. And uh, here we are at the hotel, going in. Yeah. It's only 2.30 in the morning. I'm sure my dad and Danny won't mind you singing to him, Grant. I just gotta, I just gotta know 
Come on, all together now. If you're gonna, if you're gonna stay. No, why is it? It's morning. Don't forget to win. Grant, you alright? <laughs> Rough as shit. <laughs> All said and done, I don't think uh, three hours sleep were the best preparation for the start of our little jog trip, but look at that morning. God, it was beautiful. Such a great first day, first morning. Um, we're just here doing our last bits of prep before we actually set off. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> right, good luck, boys. Good See you at the first stop. You might have seen how we're walking behind us as we set off and Dan behind the camera. Without these two guys, the trip really wouldn't have been possible. Uh, we'll stick with Howard for the minute, who's on the right here in this clip. He, uh, he's gone above and beyond. He travelled down to Land's End purely to take my car home. Thanks very much, Howard, from, from both me and the team. So while we were met with a lovely morning, our, our handling skills were really tested early on because you know these are long days that we had to get in and, and time was of the essence so uh, hanging round wasn't an option. We really had to uh, get going and when we hit traffic like we have done here it was just a case of dipping and diving trying to get through it. I can just see off the wahoo here we're about 35 miles in and I nearly stacked it already on the trip. Imagine if I'd have went in front of all these cars. I'm sure you'd have started laughing. Good luck boys, keep going. Good luck. Keep going. This is the first of many conversations decided on if we've gone the right way or the wrong way. I'm not sitting here in this rain anymore. I'm off to the petrol station further down the road. Well, what are you deciding? I'm sure we got a chocolate bar from this service station. Well, it's quite express how excited we all were to see this place after that battle of the rain, our second night of the trip. How are you feeling? Alright. <laughs> you fucking not, are you? <laughs> I'm fucking knackered. <laughs> Popple done? Right. Good luck. See you in a couple of hours. It's no secret we were all feeling it this second morning. As you can see, we went very slowly, just trying to ease our way into it after climbing a hill that first turn. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. You're on camera too. Cooey! <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, M5 services. Just keep going.
for us guys riding this uh, was quite a milestone in the ride we crossed the seven bridge and um, it felt like we'd really ticked off uh, the first chunk of the uh, of the of the trip you know we'd, we'd sort of got over that that patch of water riding over it were was some experience it weren't sunny I'll tell you that it was very cold windy and wet Probably pretty obvious by now that you know we didn't just ride, we got into a bit of drinking as well. Let's go to Gordy's. Gordy's, baby! Maybe it's that one. I didn't know you were going. Yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the end of day two 134 miles. Look at Tom joining us, having a beer before we get there. As usual, coming up this hill, look who's in last place, way off the back of the pack. I'll be here in a minute. Carries, 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 carries. Look at him. <laughs> With every uphill, there's Get a downhill. Quick one of you. What does weight bring your speed? Front of the pack, I know, yeah. Day three were actually one of the easier days. Still very tough, man. I should point out there were more visitors than in the picture here, just they missed out on the picture. Uh, to name a few, my granddad, my uncle, uh, Joel's sister, mum, uh, grand's partner, and obviously Annie who you can see in the picture, just to mention a few. Morning, baby. <laughs> Welcome, Thomas. After you, sir. Only four more days to go, Tom. <laughs> Absolutely awful. <laughs> Only four more days to go. Absolutely. <laughs> this was a fantastic moment for me. Quite a few people that visited the day before from their children, etc. And you know, coming up to the half mile point of the ride here, asking my daughter, Erin. Her auntie Sydney brought her to see me. Hello, I can wait to hear that. He's just stopped there. He's coming in a minute. How are you? Hello. 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 <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Hiya. Welcome to the halfway point. <laughs> Get little air in. Okay, so we set back off from the halfway point of the ride, just up a hill. And before we know it, we're in Scotland. Taking this picture was some fun. Trying to get everyone stood there at the same time. Just keep swimming, keep going baby! Day 5 for a tough start, we'd had a big session that night. For those of you who don't know, this is Dan doing his impression of me of TG Plastics, my work. What's up guys, welcome to TG Plastics! <laughs> See if you can find Joel Sudeker, you know, I've just cooked a bit. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, well, we got that on mic. <laughs> a very slow start to day five. We're all very hungover. A quick breakfast stop soon. Service station, we all a Burger King and a McDonald's and, you know, a bit of sugar back in as we were ready to go again. 
Let's get this next half of the day done. Come on, lads. We were treated as when we got into Scotland. Look at that weather. It was beautiful to ride in. The views up here are just something else. Yes, tough to ride, but all worth it when you're there with your pals, riding along, experiencing it together. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now this is interesting, these two lads on the left here can have a puncture as you can see, but they went past us early on, absolute tear arsing past us, telling us they were doing the jog. Oh, I wish I got it on video, we caught them back up, uh, put the pedal down and we absolutely took them to, <laughs> took them to hell and back, they hated us. All these roads in and out of uh, the town centre of Glasgow, nice experience. Where do you think we're heading at this point? I'll tell you, McDonald's. We're all absolutely dying for something to eat, something good as well. And you know, when you've been riding that long, a bit of stodge and cheap, you know, nasty food, it just, just, just goes down a treat. Little did we know when we got there, the drivers, where were they? They were already in there eating. Where are they? Did you not get stuck in that traffic? Yeah. Oh, we passed over and you're forgetting your chocolate. Oh, yeah. it's a Motherwell Celtic ring. Look at Jade, my dad. Trying to get in front of us all for the finish. Finish at A5. We're only right, about a mile or so away from the finish there. Couple of photos of us all by the lakes. Beautiful day. Thought we'd have a quick dip that night. It was freezing. We were very unlucky on this night. We got there quite late. The rest, you know, the restaurant in the in the hotel had stopped serving food, and we had to go elsewhere. But we were up the next morning and had it. Scotland's just such a beautiful place. You can really see why people do the NC500, you know, time and time again. So we're climbing up to Glencore here. As per, we're a bit spread out. Danny's not doing so well with an injury at the minute. He's just, just dropped off the back of the pack from there. And now you can see Tom running alongside me to fill my water bottle up. Cheers, buddy. There's Glencore. Don't look tired at all though. Good picture that Grant. Alright, so these poles as you can see now up at Glencore Ski Resort are um, of Eddie, who was, uh, he was missing on the trip as you know through injury, but this is his signature pose when he's out riding. We all thought we'd uh, just tick this off for him. <laughs> Hi. 
I have to say, the ride down from Glencoe Ski Resort to the bottom, that was something else. What an experience. Danny went off in front of us all, but we soon caught him up.